Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fola with Deep Mind Squared, and on this channel we talk all things bridging mental health and spirituality. In today's video, I'm going to talk about medicine signs, which is a term many of you might hear me talk about, and maybe you always wonder, what is she talking about? <laughs> so let's get into it. So within earth-based or shamanic practices, there is this concept of nature, uh, you know, the plants, the animals, just the world, how it communicates to us. And, you know, I would identify medicine signs as also the same as like a synchronicity, but these happen to be more related to uh, animal or uh, certain experience that continually shows up in our reality. And this is just how spirit communicates with us. You know, we can be minding our own business and then all of a sudden, you know, driving is when these things tend to happen to me. An animal will come like right along the path. Uh, there has been many times it's been like a very close call, I would say. And the way I would take that is there's something very profound in that experience. And these animals, uh, different plants, nature, they mean and uh, hold different meanings spiritually, which can kind of support us in connecting to, you know, issues we might be having in our life, problem that might be coming up or a pattern that we maybe can't really feel like break. And so it's really important that we are open to receiving these medicine signs and to, you know, trust that that is one way that things can be communicated to us in our day to day. So a medicine sign is really spirit communicating to us through nature, through animals. And you can take what you will of this. Something I like to do is if I have an encounter with a particular animal or you know living creature and I see that it's happening repetitively in a short period of time, or maybe, you know, like just actually before I was filming this, all of a sudden like two squirrels just went running and chasing each other, like yelling at each other. You know, so to me it's like, oh, there's a little sense of playfulness and maybe I should look up what that animal medicine is, you know. And I also see it's just like the fun and the playfulness that spirit has in our life and in, like uh, encourages us to also carry out, right? Really, this is an encouragement for you to tap into what is being shown around you. Don't take it as a coincidence, right? This is, you know, something we don't have to hold on to and like attach ourselves to, but there is a lot of like power within it. And I will share a bit of a story. Um, there was a while back here, I was about to do a ceremony. It was an intending ceremony. And I had kind of made all these plans and was hoping to complete it with some other people, not like actually in person, but you know, us setting our and syncing our timelines so that we could all do this work. And in the end, I think I was the only one that ended up doing it. And I kind of like was, yeah, I'm just certain if like, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing and all this stuff. And I could tell a lot of that was because of the fear I was having. <laughs> about okay if I set this intention what does this mean in my life like something's going to have to change which usually means then I have to change and yeah that's a lot of work sometimes right and I built up the strength built the courage um, part of the ceremonies is really like going out into nature for a decent amount of time <laughs> let's put it that way and really communing with nature so I went to a park, I was there gathering some of the stones to create like my sacred space and I decided to go off to one uh, location which I actually haven't really been during my time at this one particular park and as I'm going I could feel a bit of this pressure like oh no, like oh no, what's gonna happen and this isn't probably safe for me to be in this way because there's kind of like some private properties backing in and you know and as I go, then this guy comes and he doesn't look, like he looked friendly. He had some like spiritual items around his neck. Oh. Interesting bird sound there. Uh, oh. I think it's a woodpecker. Hello, woodpecker. 
Anyway, so this guy walks by and I greet him and I was like, that's bizarre. Like, where's he coming from? I should just turn back. I was like, I told him, just turn back, just turn back. Anyway, so I decided to just keep going. <laughs> because again, the eagle mind will try to keep us out of like everything. And as I get there and I'm gathering some of these stones, getting closer and closer to where then there is kind of like a fenced area saying, don't trespass. It's like, okay, I'll just go, right? Because there was an opening. <laughs> why would I not go and all of a sudden I can hear this like loud cawing sound like I've never heard before and I was like oh my gosh I know what this is there's no doubt in my life that this is going to be a hawk and the hawk is my dreamer animal and so the path I follow we have different animals that are representative of different you know modes of life so we have like a healer animal we have our power animal we have a warrior animal and a dreamer animal and we can tune into these different animalistic energies to create things for ourselves or you know work through something that may be coming up and I could hear this sound and sure enough as I kind of made my way through I looked up and I could see circling like all these hawks and like this predatorial like cawing sound I've never actually heard it like in person and this to me was like the medicine signs like you are on the path really this is what this like work is about it's like these signs show up as confirmations when we are on the path and you know we are it's like confirmations for us to know like this is what is meant to be and stop doubting yourself just go with the flow of life and I was like oh my goodness it was so exciting I did I just like paused there because I didn't really know how to do, handle it I was like okay of course right as I'm about to do an intending ceremony then I would see all these wonderful dreamer animals the hawk in representation for me in my life up there like just basically like cheerleading me on to keep going even though here I was in the middle of the forest basically getting dark like I'm glad I had a flashlight with me <laughs> at the end uh, I decided not to do the ceremony in the forest just because I haven't done it there um, and that's just how I am uh, but it was a very powerful evening for me and to see this medicine sign when I've been to this place before in the daytime um, and at varying times and never ever thought I would see something like that you know so really just asking you to tune into what medicine signs are showing up for you which animals are communicating to you right now in your life and are you open to receiving the messages that they carry for you that spirit is carrying for you because there's a lot of you know uh, potential within that and you can tune into those animals too I encourage people if you know you keep seeing a specific animal then there you go tap into it meditate on it call on its energy whatever that looks like for you uh, watch a documentary on that animal because God knows you'll learn a lot when you start to really you know integrate what the characteristics are of that particular animal or that species so yeah a lot of beauty a lot of power in the medicine signs and uh, it really highlights the like collective consciousness of the animals that exist in our reality. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave the little thumbs up and share it with anyone you think might need to hear it. And I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.